Hello, welcome to another Informatica video tutorial. My name is Fernando Guerrero, I am a Cloud Solution Specialist, and we are going to talk about the Informatica Data Integration REST API, specifically about the data preview call. So what are we going to do through this video? First, we are going to learn about what can we do with this API call. Uh, I will show you a little demo how to use this API call and I will have some links of documentation about this API and other API calls that you will need to use together with this one. So the first thing that you're wondering is like, what can we do with the Informatica Data Preview REST API? Well, you can use this one to display uh, not only the data that you have in your source or tagged object, but you can also display metadata uh, about it. And this is gonna be helpful if you are doing a, a design uh, you can, besides knowing the name of the object that you want to call, you need to know the connection ID and how you get access to that object. And if you don't know the connection ID, you can also use the, the connection the connection name. Um, you can include extra fields in, uh, in your request that, to get more uh, details about the metadata. Uh, we, I will show you a little demo. Uh, when we read information from a flat file, so you can see uh, one example of how to use this uh, API call. So now we are going to proceed to the demo. And if you want to preview the data on an object, uh, besides knowing the name of the object, you also need to know the name or the ID of your connection. And I will do it in both ways so you, you can see how it works. Uh, when you call this API, uh, the content type and accept is application JSON. You need an IC session ID, and the way to get this value is to use the login API call. Uh, I will post links to documentation about how you can use the login. Right now, for sake of time, uh, I, will, I will skip the login, and I will just uh, concentrate on showing uh, data preview. Also, when we use the connection ID, uh, there is another API call uh, where you can display all the connections in your organization and they have the ID. I will also post a link to a video tutorial that shows you how to use that connector API. So I am skipping all that because I want to concentrate on, on just previewing the data. Uh, so the first thing that I will do is uh, uh, preview some data from a flat file and I will use my connection I my connection ID so here I am writing the the full path so it will be um, connection connection then with my flat file is the source then I need to paste um, my connection ID so I already know my connection ID oh that's well this is in this is the name of the file that I am going to use so before the name of the file, I need to get the connection ID. So I need to get the, the connection ID. After the connection ID, I need to write data preview. And then write the name of the object that I want to display data. So I will send this. Let me verify. I have connection the source my my connection ID data preview and my object yeah that's correct yeah, and here you can see the uh, uh, you tell me the header the fields name and then it's not going to display all the information in the file it will give you some some previews uh, if you by default it display uh, 10 rows, that's, that's the default. And you can see here the the data, each each of those values represent uh, uh, those fields. And now, if you don't know the ID of the, the connection, but if you know the name of the connection, then you can, you can replace the, the ID by the name so here this is the name of my connection 
but before that I also need to specify that I am using the name so here after source I need to specify this is by name then the name of my connection data preview data preview and the name of the object let me call it you see it's, it's, it's exactly the same the same information so yeah this is a way to you, how you can display sources uh, you can display target if you need to have the information of the fields uh, or the data in, in, for your design and you want to do it programmatically this is one way to do it if you want to know more about this api call you can visit the informatica documentation and here i posted uh, the links to to this api call documentation to the login documentation and also a video that shows how to get the connection id so this one will have everything everything you need any feedback that you want to give us about this video uh, please you can send us a, a message uh, through email or also you can contact us through our social, social media accounts thank you very much for watching this video